is our next repair. This is a Daymac. It's one of the club members. It needs a little bit of work. You got a <laughs> a bulb floating around in there, but yet there's one there. So they likely dropped it in there. Uh, we'll fix this. Uh, it doesn't power up, so we're gonna pull the back end off of it and uh, go over the wiring from the the ignition all the way to the back and then uh, test it. Hopefully it's something serious and you can have it back. We're into some of the guts before I uh, get ready into pulling it apart. This is one thing you don't want to see on the e-bike is uh, melted connectors on the phase wires because what happens is if these two touch together when it's in motion it blows a, it'll blow a phase in the, um, the controller. So we'll have to uh, pull it apart and uh, definitely test that uh, control. Okay, we're testing the motor. The controller has been removed. And uh, here we go. Hulls are good. Phases are good. Okay, now we're going to do a quick test of the controller. Um, we're going to see if uh, we get a standard 5 volts or standby. Yes bypassing all the wiring in the bike and there's your 5 volts so the controller is functioning so we're gonna have to go through the wiring on the bike it's been spliced and diced about a zillion times so we'll see what we as you can see the controller has sustained some damage the cap is blown uh, the chip still works but the fets are blown and as you can see it used the shunt as a fuse which they do on these cheaper bikes I'm going to try and wire up a um, another model and see if that will work, but this controller is toast. Okay, this is with my test controller. We've got power. And everything is working here. Starting signals. This light on this side is out. The ones on the front. All working. Okay. Check it out. 